Hello guys, uh, it's uh, Nuno once again and today I think you will be extremely happy with this uh, small tutorial about uh, iMovie, the new, the new version of iMovie and, uh, and uh, the iPad, uh, the first generation. As you know, um, uh, and I saw uh, some tutorials on, the, on, the, on YouTube, it is uh, difficult, uh, unless you have the camera connection kit, to uh, import movies and, and uh, work with the, the iMovie application unless you have that camera connection kit. Okay, so today uh, with a small application that is called PhotoSync that is um, uh, 159 uh, euros on the App Store, you can do that wireless and the iMovie application will recognize that movies and you can make your editing on the uh, first generation iPad. So uh, let's go ahead with that and um, I, I, I think we'll be happy uh, with the final result. Okay, very well. Second part of the video uh, about the transferring of your videos wirelessly with the PhotoSync app. So the app that I'm talking about, it's over here. It's called PhotoSync, okay? This one, you should have it on your iPad as well on your iPhone and the uh, app is over here also. Uh, okay, photo sync, it's over here. And let's do a small um, a small demonstration. So let's get out of here. It's okay. Let's prepare the iPad to receive. Okay, very well. And let's go to uh, camera application on the iPhone. Okay, and let's record a small video. I'm recording here my iPad and then I'm going to record uh, uh, that old camera over there and okay and cinema display okay very well stop it that's enough now let's go uh, out of the camera application let's go to the PhotoSync app over here and here Let's go to the camera roll. This is the last one. Okay, and let's... Uh, I'm not seeing because I'm behind the camera. Okay. Let's sync the selected one. Very well. And let's sync to the... This one. And discover, as you can see, my iPad. No wires. And it's transferring. So it's syncing in the iPhone and it's receiving on the iPad okay almost done 97 eh? okay done you can take your phone take it out now you have the procedure almost done the video is over here it's an 80 second video Okay, and uh, now what we want to do is go out of this since we already have the video imported to the iPad and let's go to the... this is the iPad one as you can see I'm, uh, this is the first generation iPad uh, and I'm keeping it so let's go to the... to the media I have here and the iMovie uh, there are lots of tutorials to tell you uh, how you can put iMovie on the on the uh, first generation iPad through the iPhone utility um, 3.3 I think so let's create another project <clears throat> and okay on the f on, since uh, I've discovered this today so uh, I don't have the camera connection kit and I was not able to uh, have video, only photos. Now, with this application I have, I have the photos. So let's grab uh, this video that... Okay, click it. And here you have it. Here you have the video. Okay, 
Uh, let's grab another one. This is another test that I made. Let's see if that's possible to put here. Yeah, it is. It's almost as fast as the iPad 2. <laughs> okay, um, that's it. Now you can put whatever you want. Uh, some music, okay, very well. Some theme, you can also put that. And let's go ahead and play it. Perfect. Okay, um, that's it. After this, you can go to your projects. This is the new project, and you can, of course, export to whatever you want. So that is it. I think uh, I hope uh, it is uh, op it, it is useful for you. For me, it is. Uh, the only reason that I was thinking to buy the iPad 2 it is it was because of this application since the garage band works here so uh, i have fixed my problem and i'm keeping my money on my wallet thank you and i hope to see you uh, soon on another video or another tutorial please subscribe thanks bye bye